hi guys welcome to my channel this is Gina's apparel in today's tutorial I want to show you how to make a very fine gown one trendy gown so let's go to the work table the shoulder is seven inches I come down by one inch for the shoulder slope I'm pulling a line so I'll still measure the seven inches that is half of the shoulder measurement for the armhole I'll bring down the seven inches this way so as to get accurate measurement. I look for the midpoint of the armhole, which is three and a half inches, half of seven inches. I measure the circumference, the circumference of the chest line. is nine inches. So I'm connecting the line here. I'm hook off nine inches. That is for the back armhole. For the front, I come in by half inch. I have both the back and front together. So this is the front armhole, this is the back armhole. So I measure from shoulder to the waist, which is 13 inches. Shoulder to the hip is 20 inches. So this is two and a half inches. It's for the button allowance. Button allowance and the folding allowance. This is how it's going to look like when you fold it this way. You stitch it and you now put the buttons. Button all the way down. So I'm going to take the waist measurement which is eight and a half inches the hip measurement is ten inches plus two inches allowance two inches allowance plus two inches allowance Now I'll roll the line this way. So I'll measure like this. This is 12 inches here. I'll bring down the 12 inches this way. Then for the back, I'll measure the bust pan measurement, which is three and a half inches, 
three and a half inches three and a half inches at the boss line the waistline and the hip line so i'll connect the line like this i'll come in by half inch half inch both sides i'll connect it this way Connect it to the hip too. So I want to take the neck measurement. Remember this measurement is for a child. This measurement is for a child, so I'm going to take two and a half inches. And three inches. So remember I, I took two and a half by two and a half. That is the front neck. So for the back, I'll take one inch. Remember this two and a half? So the one inch. So I'm going to cut it now. This is a straight cut gown. I'm cutting both the back and front the same way. Watch the way I'm cutting. Remember, I'm cutting the back and the front the same way. Please subscribe to the channel. It's a new channel. I'm going to add half inch sewing allowance for joining of the shoulder. So I'm cutting the back neck first. So this is the front and this is the back. It's it should be for I don't it not see. It's falling out. They just wrote if you said they put Did you off it before you start talking? Or yeah. still recording? No. I want to mark that. 
three and a half inches, three and a half inches, three and a half inches. Then I'll measure half inch and half inch. Look at the way I'm connecting it. Easy that. Is a sleeveless gown, so this is the back of it. Is it that? Back to the front. I'm cutting the front neck line now. I'll cut the armhole too. Then I'm coming by one and a half inch. Connect it this way. Remember. So for the hand. If you want it to be sleeveless, you can come in by one and a half inches, then connect it to the armhole. But I want to leave it with the sleeve. So this is how it looks like. This is the back side of it. Easy that you just hold it that. So from here to here, the same thing applicable to the front side. For for the front side, the bottom flatted. This is how to sew it. You put it this way and sew it. So straight down. Then I'll come back for the neck. I want to measure the the sleeve. The sleeve is ten and a half inches. Okay, eleven inches. So I'll come in here by four inches. Then I'll take the width. The width is nine and a half inches. Then I'll connect it this way from the tip of the pattern paper. To the four inches and look for the midpoint which is five inches then i'll connect it this way you can use your cover like and use freehand I've already used free hand. Let me use my hand. So let me check. This is complete. 11 inches. And for the, for the round of the hand is 8 inches. Connect it this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
this trendy gown is for a child you can as well increase your measurements a difference is the measurement but the cutting is the same so this is the sleeve this is the sleeve there is the sleeve for you. I want to measure the neck the neck I measure remember that you have to fold you have to sew it this way fold like half inch inside then fold it this way sew it down like says then measure the neck measure the neck this way to this place that is five and a half inches for the neck that is for the front for the back is for the back is uh, three and a half inches remember the this is the peter pan color Peter Pan color. This is for the for the back neck, three and a half inches. I want to measure for the front. The front is five and a half inches plus half inch. Uh, come down by one inch. Then I'll connect it this way. Connect it this way. Then I'll measure two and a half inches all around. Then you come from the major half inch. This is a half inch. So I'm coughing it this way. This is the downside of it. That side is the upside of it. So I need to cut it off. subscribe to the channel if you're not done so don't just watch and go away thank you so much god bless you bye this is what i'm going to show how to cut it 
pitié is from the amputee to the hip. If you look at this picture, there's a slant from the armpit to the hip. And one of the sleeve is the same color with the cut. So that means the material will be two colors. The Peter Pan color will be the same color with this one, with the upper part of it, and the sleeve. The button placket will be the same color with the up. So that is how I want to show you how to slant it to the hip. Look at the Peter Pan color here. You start from there and fix the button. The distance between one button to the other is three inches distance. So that is the picture. So I want to slant it here. This is my placket. This is my button placket. So I'll mark from here. Across to this place. It will pass through the west. So I'm going to connect it this way. passes through the from the armhole to the west and to the hip so you cut it off this way Remember, it's only the front side of it. This will be another. So this is the cutting. Remember, you have to cut it this way. This will be another material. This and the sleeve, the upper side and the sleeve, and the Peter Pan color will be the same color. While this other sleeve, and this other one on the back will be one color. So that is how to do it. You have to join it. After joining it, you then use the color of this upper part as placket. Roll it down. Join it and sew it down. Then the buttons will be three. If it is a big person, an adult, should be three inches. Three inches interval. For children, should be one and a half inches all the way down so that is how to cut it and i'm showing you how to sew it this plant a pita fan color i cut it along with the allowance inside so after sewing it it will be small maybe like one inch or one and a half inches left so this is all about that beautiful trendy gown thank you for watching my channel Say say bye.